Hello kids, and welcome to the Daily Tip. I, of course, am your, your host, your host, your host, astronaut Mike Dexter. I don't know why I'm looking at my notes, because I know who I am. And of course, this is my trusty Falcon. That's right. Do you have a story for the people today, Falcon? I tried to make me go to rehab, I said no. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. Yes, I've been black, but like when I come shit. back, don't tell me. No, no, oh, come on now. All right, yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know. I know, I didn't know what I was doing. I know. <laughs> that, that was fantastic. Oh, thank you, Falcon. He looks great, doesn't he? He's been working out. Um, today, of course, you know, and I don't, that's why I'm looking at my notes, March 3rd, Wednesday, right here on Daily Tip, and I have a couple of apologies. Apology number one, awesome, awesome this Monday, I forgot somebody that sent something, sent something that was beyond awesome awesomeness. Uh, it is from a, somebody who uh, Twitters me, they, um, have an Etsy page, uh, at Etsy.com, her handle is Smash Girl because she creates original mosaic art from smashed ceramics. Uh, some really cool stuff. But she found this, and I thought it was so much. She sent this to me. She said it was awesome, and I agree. It is awesome. Can you see this? Can you see its awesomeness? Can you handle its awesomeness? I hope that you can see this. If you cannot see this, we will get a, a picture of this later. But check out these elf boots, right? Yeah, I want me a pair of those. Cause nothing says, hey Tina Fey slash Liz Lemon, I'm ready for you. But a pair of these elf leprechaun snow skis is what they're calling them, snow skis. They are just genius. I love them so much, and I must have them. Um, okay, a couple of apologies I said as well. Number one, I said the other day that Craig Kilborn does not have a sidekick. That is true. When Craig Kilborn hosted the Late Late Show, he did not have a sidekick. What I meant to say, though, was Craig Ferguson. Craig Ferguson. I am so sorry, because I have such huge admiration, love, and respect for Craig Ferguson. I can't believe I got the name wrong. I'm sorry, Craig Ferguson. Ever forgive me. Ever forgive me. Probably not, but that's okay. I'm gonna have to live with it. The other thing is that I could not remember the additional co-hosts on The View. Those would be Sherry and Elizabeth. I am, I'm sorry to Sherry and Elizabeth and Craig Ferguson, to all of them. They should, they should all be in a room and mock me. They probably already do. They probably belong to the Mock Angelo Club. Um, yeah, well, what do you think? Okay, so today, here is your tip of the day. You can mix large open patterns. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not wait for tip of the day music. Bring it in. That's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. No idea I tell you what is playing or what was playing. If you didn't know this before, I'm telling you now, I have no control over the sound effects, music, slash noises. They happen after I have given this tape to others. A staff of two people, staff, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Falcon, staff of three. That's right, I'm sorry. He's got an agent, he's got people, he's got a manager. You know, they're breathing down my neck, breathing down. Okay, so because of our tip of the day uh, cue there, you can mix large open patterns with tight, dense ones when they are unified by Common color palette, so true, so very true. I get this question all the time, how do I mix patterns and textures and colors and all that fun stuff while making my home feel like it is cohesive and looks good as opposed to a kooky person lives there? Well, it's a challenge, and unless you've had a lot of experience in it, in, in mixing all those patterns and colors, it doesn't come easily. So there's a really simple way to take that process that could be that could be a little daunting and make it simple on yourself, and that is to stay within a color palette. So let's say your color palette is earth tones and you're in greens and tans and browns. You can go and look for a solid pattern uh, in maybe your sofa, and then find the same color hue that you're using your sofa, be it a sagey green or a mossy green or even an off uh, off 
off-white or tan or beige, pick up on that color and then in your accent pillows, you use those colors but in bold prints, whether it be floral, stripe, combining a floral and a stripe, you can do that if you're stay staying within the same color palette. Same thing goes with your drapes and then your, um, your rug. You can go into prints with drapes and rugs within that room if you stay within the same color palette. The other thing that you can do is you can mix the type of prints. So if you say, let's say you have a wide print or a big print on your drapes, uh, a print that has uh, got a lot of negative space between images. You can take a print for your rug that maybe is more of a tightly uh, put together or denser print or even a stripe and same thing with your accent pillows. And you can do a very similar thing with bedding in your bedroom. Mix up the, the patterns, the textures, the designs if you stay within one or two colors that you are planning and using throughout the room. It's really simple and it makes a room so much more interesting. Trust me, you will love it. Uh, we have a question from uh, Debbie in New Jersey. Debbie with an I. Hey Debbie, how are you? Thanks for watching the Daily Tip. I love the flowers you always use on the on, on, on TDT, how do you keep them fresh? TDT? Falcon, I think we got ourselves a moniker. We are, T welcome to the TDT, the daily tip. Uh, I do not always keep them fresh. If you've watched the TDT on a regular basis, you've noticed sometimes the tulips look dead, because they are. But usually I try to keep them fresh, and that just means changing out the water every couple of days. Uh, snipping the bottom of the tulips at, a, at a, about a 45 degree angle so they can absorb more water. Cool water, cool to cold water, so it keeps them fresh. And I find that a couple of pennies, copper pennies, because there are so many other kinds of pennies, uh, at the bottom of the vase, they oxidize somehow and that oxidization creates uh, a longer life. Seriously, I've done it without and with. I'm telling you, with is good. And people say, you know, a little bit of sugar or salt or dishwashing liquid, I've even heard a couple drops of that. And I've tried everything, all those tips, and nothing has worked as well as the pennies, a couple of pennies at the bottom of the vase. Spectacular. And that's it. That is it on the daily tip. I believe that is it. Oh, one last thing. Oh, one last thing. People have been asking why the astronaut Mike Dexter, because he is Tina Fey's Blue's Lemons beloved on 30 Rock. I am pleading and begging Tina Fey slash Blue's Lemon to restore the art. And uh, so I will be Mike Dexter until I need to be. And speaking of which, a fan on the Facebook fan page that the kids manage, Elizabeth Chetwood Frizzle, how great is that name? Elizabeth Chetwood Frizzle, is uh, started a petition page on Facebook to get me on 30 Rock. Elizabeth Chetwood Frizzle, thank you, I love your name, and I love that you started a petition page. So I petition you to go on there and join. I think we have a whopping 29 members. Listen, people, don't, don't mock it. Craig Ferguson, Elizabeth, and Sherry will mock it because I forgot them, but I love them. Uh, but don't mock That's it. The Falcon and I are signing off. Until next time. <laughs> I'm out of time and all I got is old minutes. Old minutes, eh? I'm out of time and all I got is old minutes.